Uh, there's all sorts of things. Um, there's the guest facing ones, the towels on the floor, the uh, motion sensors in the rooms that are more obvious, but there's also food pulping, uh, reducing your water outflow and your waste uh, and the food that you're putting into landfills uh, in the kitchens that's a little bit less obvious and a guest will never see. Uh, there's all sorts of things in between uh, that you might be surprised at where technology has delivered some solutions today that weren't available 10 years ago. We talk a lot about energy efficiency initiatives and uh, a lot of folks are, are on the bandwagon with those initiatives. I think some uh, new opportunities to look into further are sourcing renewable energy. We, we think about solar and we've, we have solar panels on a few of our hotels, and, but we're also looking at how can we source more renewable energy uh, across our portfolio and also looking at wellness, which I think is a growing uh, interest among sustainability professionals. You know, wellness being looking at exercise, it could be a bike share program, it could be exercise equipment in the room or the ability to exercise in the room and gyms, uh, looking at diet and the, being able to provide organic foods and different menu options and also looking at the built environment and your indoor air quality. I would say that the improvements are going to come with technology and working with systems like air conditioning systems and door locks and how that actually comes into play with labor savings and we can kind of identify opportunities and like when we need to perform maintenance or preventative maintenance with certain units and, and door locks and batteries and, and saving on labor. Well, I think the elements within the four walls of your business are the ones that are going to be self-evident to you, but I would encourage on the sustainability journey to start thinking about things that are linked with the broader society in which you operate. So whether that's the conditions of employees and their lives outside of employment and the ways that you can um, think about uh, those issues in a way that helps attract and retain the best talent within your organization. Or, for, for instance, if your property is located in a place that may uh, face a larger problem from climate change or from an issue which you may not have control over, but which may impact your business. And how can you find a collaborative group of people uh, that you could get involved with to help start working on that problem that you may face, but that you intuitively know that you either can't make a business for case for or that you couldn't solve on your own? I'm not sure how much hidden there is, but one thing that comes to mind is in addition to the win-win opportunities on energy savings, energy and cost savings, which is more obvious, think about the environment for the guest, air quality, comfort, sunlight, and the general guest experience. Those often align with sustainability initiatives, and so there can be some really, really great win-win opportunities there as well. So one of the things that I really feel that um, we haven't really talked about much is the hidden talent in people. Uh, all the innovations that have come from um, these projects really have come from people who work at the property. So uh, I'd say, you know, focusing on the people, uh, giving them the encouragement, giving them the latitude, and then most importantly, to really measure uh, and evaluate them. Um, <clears throat> when, we th when we think in terms of um, uh, uh, measuring the performance of people, um, to what extent have we actually included sustainability in the performance of managers or performance of department heads? So I think that's something that's an area that is missing from uh, um, uh, performance evaluation at property levels. I had an element that not a lot of people uh, realize, it's a bit counterintuitive, which is don't wait to start your lighting retrofit. A lot of owners say they want to wait for their current bulb set to burn out, whether it's incandescents or whether it's CFLs before they go to LEDs or whatever. Don't do it. You're actually leaving value on the table. Start your lighting retrofit now. Don't wait for the bulbs to burn out. You're going to start saving energy the moment you put that new bulb in the socket. I think we always talk about sustainability when it comes to the environment and most of the time we forget about community. Uh, hoteliers uh, usually live in an area where there's a very, a very strong community and there's a lot of opportunities to help our community. And here for instance at the Barclay we have uh, 16 partnerships with uh, lo only local organizations and that care for the people who are, who are surrounding us and it's very very important uh, not only as well of course to do good but as well for the image of the property. Uh, within and, and the, the local environment. 